I am pregnant. I am with child. Um, I am having a baby. <laughs> I was like, in, I was shocked. I was actually shocked. Um, in terms of my mental and emotional health, um, that first month it was a roller coaster of um, breakdowns, crying sessions, just you know, overthinking and a lot of things. Um, I had a few panic attacks and I had about one breakdown. Um, it was a lot to process, obviously. You know, when you're about to enter this new chapter in your life, a lot of things go through your mind. A lot of things that happen, you know, mentally. You're going through a lot within your body. And um, in terms of my mental state, I have stayed away. Uh, I have stayed away from um, participating in the watching or the reading of too many um, pregnancy uh, videos <laughs> or pregnancy stories. Um, frankly, for me, I don't want to be influenced by anyone else's experience. I want to experience my pregnancy myself and if I watch someone else give birth or watch someone else's, you know, labor or their experience, um, it might affect me and it's just going to make me anxious about my experience. That's just how I am as a person. So I have kind of stayed away from taking too much of that information in. I feel like when you're pregnant, you want to know as much as you can you want to know as much as possible but I feel like sometimes we can get overloaded with too much information and I learned that right in the beginning because right in the beginning I'm like I want to know this and this and this and I felt like every time I would take in that information it would just scare me even more and I didn't want to constantly feel that on top of what I normally feel in my everyday life so I just started limiting myself to what I consumed in terms of being pregnant or I would just pace myself um, throughout the week or throughout the day and not take it all in at once so if you are a first-time mom or even if you're you've had other children before I would say just pace yourself when it comes to taking in all that information because mentally it can be hard to swallow and it might just stress you out even more and I don't suggest that basically and that's just coming from me that's just my point of view that's just what I feel has you know helped me just kind of continue to move forward you know um, in terms of my personality I kind of have the personality that gets stuck on you know the fear of it all um, so I've just kind of taken that and asked myself how will this be beneficial for me without completely shutting down my entire mindset and without you know like I have nine months to go to experience all this stuff I don't want to be scared in the beginning and then my entire pregnancy is basically gonna be um, you know fearful I feel for me having my own experience is what's going to uh, work for me and when the time comes the time is gonna come because honestly I can't avoid this <laughs> this is actually happening so I'd rather just go through my own experience and see how that is for me instead of taking in so much information Information from um, you know other sources um, so yeah I've just been pacing myself with the information that um, I do take in and that has been very helpful um, yeah another thing that I have found very helpful when it comes to like my mental state and being pregnant is um, plain and simple encouragement um, this is a new experience for me and this is going to be a new experience for my husband as well and in terms of me I'm going through a lot of ups and I'm going through a lot of downs so I constantly need encouragement and I constantly need that source of you're an amazing woman <laughs> you know like I constantly need that because having all these hormones and these ups and downs sometimes you feel like you can lose yourself thinking that I have to protect this child 
I have to grow this child in my uterus. I have to, I have to, I have to, have to do all this. Um, so sometimes having some support <laughs> and having some encouraging words said to you like, oh, you look beautiful today. Or, you know, even just um, listening to some encouraging, you know, women empowered music like Beyonce or something like that, just to elevate yourself a little bit can be very helpful. <laughs> So I constantly try to remind myself that how amazing I am and how like I'm literally growing another human being inside of my body, you know. Um, so I just constantly remind myself of that and um, constantly telling my husband and reminding my husband that, you know, I'm amazing, you know. <laughs> I am amazing and I am strong and... I feel like sometimes as women we feel like we we can't ask for someone to tell us that we're strong because then that makes it seem like we're not strong but the reality of it is we're all human beings and sometimes we get lost in the sauce of the world and sometimes we need that little bit of reminder that we are amazing creatures and the people around you should be able to recognize that and should be able to tell you that when the time is right or even when you need it. Um, and you yourself as well should also learn to remind yourself how beautiful and how strong and how amazing you are, you know, and you know, that has really helped me just build up my confidence when it comes to, um, when it comes to thinking about me going through this experience, you know, I have a long way to go. You know, I have my ups and I have my downs. I still have labor to go through. And I just want to hear, I just want to hear good words coming in and out of my brain. Just good words. That's all I want to hear. I, I work so much better when I hear good things coming from people into my ears. Yes, sometimes you have to face the reality. And that's fine because reality is all around us. But sometimes we just need to hear something a little bit more encouraging but yeah so when it comes to my mental health uh, those are just some of the things that help me um, I hope it helps you you know some of my tips and some of my tricks but it's all about figuring out what does work for you you know don't limit yourself to basically what I say or what someone else says go through it yourself go through your own experience and see how that works for you that's all i ever encourage anyone to do is to go through your own experience um and see what works for you basically um but yeah i just want to put it out there that my channel will not be turning into a pregnancy channel um i won't really be doing pregnancy updates or even pregnancy related things to be quite honest with you maybe that'll change i'm not too sure but as of right now um the only thing that i want to share is just this news and i'm going to continue to go back to all the other content that i do film here on my channel if there's anything you do want to know or do want to see i do share things on my social media um but here on my channel my youtube channel is you know it's kind of strictly for what it has always been about but if i do want to share anything in terms of like my pregnancy and my mental health i will share that but um i just want to let you guys know that i'm not going to be doing like monthly updates or weekly updates or uh, what do they call it um pregnancy updates <laughs> i'm not really going to be doing stuff like that continuously um so don't expect that from me um but um if you know i'm doing a video like a get ready with me and i do mention the pregnancy or any of that stuff that's probably where you'll hear any other updates about my pregnancy if not on my social media so yeah so if you guys are not following me on my other social media platforms like my twitter my instagram and my snapchat that's where i kind of update everything else going on in my life so if you're interested you should follow me on those things <laughs> um so overall yes i just wanted to share this good news with you guys and i just kind of want to share with anyone out there you know to enjoy this moment enjoy this experience it's a new experience and you know just try to just try to enjoy it and to 
keep your mindset as healthy as you possibly can throughout the whole thing try not to worry or try not to think too much ahead of yourself um, and just know that all you are doing right now is creating this amazing human being inside of you everything else simply doesn't matter you're creating a whole life so you know try not to stress about certain things and just keep yourself healthy you know try to drink your water and exercise as much as you can and don't let don't let anyone stress you out about anything just know that you are amazing you are creating life literally I can't stress that enough you are creating life you are beautiful you are amazing and you are strong and you'll be able to get through this so if you happen to come across this video, I hope it helps you in some way. Um, but yeah, so that is my very special news um, that I wanted to share with you guys. And before I go, I just want to say happy holidays to everyone. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year. This is actually going to be the last time that you will be seeing me for the year. Um, I am actually going to go and visit some family so I'm going to take a few weeks off from YouTube and I will be back in the new year so this is technically me signing off <laughs> and I just want to wish you guys all a happy holidays and I hope you guys have a safe and amazing new year and I will see you guys in 2019. Bye!